ConnectWise Control uses session groups to organize and manage sessions. In this video, I will show you how to create a session group. Session groups behave as filters for your sessions, whether they are support sessions, meetings, or access sessions. You can use session groups to see how many of your technicians are currently connected to a session, all machines running Windows 10, and much more. By default, we've included several pre-built session groups in the Access section. For example, this group, Outdated Clients, contains all your machines that need their client updated. Session groups automatically filter any matching results. In our example, anytime there's a machine that's out of date, it will automatically appear here. Session groups are also dynamic. If you add another machine to your instance that matches a filter, the device is automatically added to your existing group. To create a new session group, click Create Session Group to open the dialog. Enter a name for your session group. Click the plus icon next to the session filter to open a list of frequently used filters. Select a filter to add it to the session filter box. You can further divide your sessions into smaller nested groups by using a subgroup. Click the plus icon to open a list of frequently used filters. Select a filter to add it. For guidance on creating session groups, click the Show Reference link. Here we list the available properties, operators, variables, functions, literal, usage notes, and examples. Once you create a new session group, it appears on your host page. If a session matches your filter, it's also added to your group. That's it for session groups. To learn more, be sure to visit our documentation at connectwise.com controldocs. Thanks!